Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, finished it off. There isn't much left. The mucus that's in your lungs and your bronchioles and your bronchi and your trachea, all of that goes up to the epiglottis where it makes a U-turn and it too gets pushed down into your stomach where it also drops all of its terrible pollutants. So the stuff above your epiglottis just drips down the back of your throat into your stomach all day. The mucus, all the dirty, nasty stuff that you breathe in that makes it past the epiglottis gets pushed up by these tiny little hairs called cilia. And they literally just go like this all day. That's all they do. They just... And they push the mucus up, 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 up. From your lungs, your bronchioles, your bronchi, your trachea, up. And then they just dump it in to your stomach. And there, the acid takes care of all the nasty stuff. Yay! So, if we were going to answer the point... What I would write is, let's get rid of my stinky flypaper. God, that really reeks. Just kidding. It's just a drawing. I would write that um, dust, dirt, and disease. Though it's technically everything, but I like to just highlight those three, dust, dirt, and disease. Dust, dirt, and disease get trapped in mucus, and the mucus goes to the stomach to kill it. So all the dust, dirt, and disease, along with pollutants and smoke and everything else that you breathe in, bacteria that shouldn't be there, all that kind of stuff, it, that all that gets trapped in the mucus, and then the mucus goes to the stomach to kill it. And the stomach just has the acid, so just throw it in the acid vat that is your stomach, and yay, it'll be clean. So there it is. Good luck. <laughs>